Hey, West Noble staff, this is uh, Randy Yance talking to you. And I've been asked to uh, show you on Google Forms how you could do a quiz or a test and put a password in there. Um, what I like about that, is it gonna prevent virtual students from cheating? Probably not. Uh, but what I like about it is if uh, I wanna go ahead and post my quiz or my test, uh, I can go ahead and put it on Google Classroom. Uh, when I get it done and ready and get it launched, and scheduled or whatever. And then uh, my kids cannot start that quiz virtually or in my classroom until I give them that password. So uh, I give them the password to my kids in class and then they start their quiz. And then I'll email my virtual kids, tell them, hey, this is the time it's, it's, it's open uh, and here's the password. And then uh, they can start it when they get that password. So it's kind of nice uh, that you can uh, go ahead and post it, not worry about somebody jumping on there and doing it um, without your knowledge. Plus, uh, it's also kind of nice that uh, um, uh, what I also uh, like about it is you can change the password um, and, and from class to class. So if I'm giving, I got four bio ones, so if I'm going to bio one test, you know, I can give each one a different password and change that password all the time. So uh, I'm just going to go through the steps real quick. If you got any questions, please feel free to come down and ask me and, and talk to me or, or email me or whatever. I'll, I'll help you. I'm, I'm kind of new to this and, and uh, uh, something I've been doing for the you know, past five weeks. And, and uh, I guess my, my biggest advice for you is you, you can teach an old dog new tricks. I mean, this is my 36th year of teaching and I'm still trying new stuff. So uh, I think it's very useful. Um, and I'll just go through it real quick. So if you're, you're making a, a quiz, you, you title your quiz, do whatever you need to do. I'm gonna type in a question here right off the bat and it's gonna be, what is the password? So I'm gonna type that in. Um, make sure you check, come over here and it usually does it automatically. If it doesn't, make sure that you hit a uh, uh, short answer. I like to click this require button so they have to obviously answer it, with, which you're gonna have to anyway. And then you're gonna come down here to these three buttons down here on the bottom. Uh, and you're going to click on response validation. It's going to bring this up. Now, there's multiple things you can do. If you want your password to be text or, or, or whatever, you can do that. I'm going to keep it really simple. I'm just going to make it a number is what I like to do. And I'm going to put equal to. So I'm going to click number equal to. And then I'm going to type in my password. In this case, let's say it's 2380. Okay. And then over here where it says custom error response, I'm going to type in wrong password. That way, if they type in some crazy number or whatever, um, then it's going to pop up that message and it won't let them go to the next section until they get that password correct. Okay. Don't have to do anything with the answer key. It's not going to affect your score or anything like that. Just leave that as is. Now, the very important step is this next step. You're going to go over here and click next section. Okay. And this is really in section two. This is where your, uh, quiz is going to uh, begin. So I just type in my dynamic quiz um, and, um, you know, and, and, or, you know, my, my, uh, I'll just type in my section, yeah, dynamic quiz, we'll just call it that. And then, you know, you do your normal thing and I'm going to have my questions, um, you know, what is anatomy, whatever. Um, and then you do multiple choice, short answer, whatever you want to do. I'm just going to type something in here just for, um, uh, purposes so you can see how this works from a student's vantage point. Um, okay, so so we got typed in there and go my answer key, you know, study of the body, whatever, I guess I didn't even type it right, sorry, uh, English people. But anyway, so I got uh, my points in there, I got my answer in there, and then you just keep on going with your quiz, okay? So that's pretty much how you put the password in there. Now, you go up here and you get view. I'll show you what the students are going to look like. So I post it to my Google Classroom. It's all done. It's ready to go. When I, I can post it whenever I want to. And then they're going to uh, see this. So their first thing is they're going to get is what is the password. So if they type in one two three four, and they go to next, boom, wrong password. Not going to let them go anywhere. Okay. So as soon as they get that password typed in there correctly. Um, now they're good to go. Now the real quiz is going to go up and they're going to do their thing and, and away they go. Okay. So it's, it's again, you know, I'm going to be honest with you and you guys all know this. We're, we're not going to prevent all cheating. We don't prevent all cheating. You can say you do, but you don't. Uh, you, I mean, kids are going to be creative. They're going to get around 
uh, some of this stuff, but this is kind of nice because it just allows me to go ahead and post my, my quizzes, my tests online, and, and my students cannot go anywhere until I give them that password. And then, and, and you guys all know this, uh, if you don't put a password in there and you got it on there and a kid's absent at home, you know, their buddies are going to text them and say, Hey, here's, here's the, here's the, uh, uh, password or whatever. And, or here's how you get into the test or the, or the test is online. This is kind of prevents that. And what I also like to do, just a little side note is I also like to, to click on that, um, uh, quit accepting responses. So after my class takes it, uh, my, my traditional in seat students take their quiz, I turn that off and, and, that way, and then I go in and I change the password for my virtual kids. That way, if they would happen to share that password with their buddies at home, they're not going to go anywhere because uh, they got to wait till I give them the password and it's going to be a different password. Okay. So that's just a little helpful advice or some other little neat tricks of the trade you can do as well. Um, but uh, I think that one works uh, uh, really well. And uh, hopefully this helps. Uh, and if you got any questions, please come down and, and see me and, and I can help you. Mrs. Kruger can help you. There's a lot of us doing this. So um, in fact, I, I give her the kudos. She's the one who gave me this idea from a video she saw. So, uh, you know, ask either one of us. We'll help you uh, figure it out. Okay. Hey, thanks for listening. We'll see you. Bye.